Hey guys, it's Mo again, and I'm back here with another fragrance review. Uh, today's fragrance is from the house of Amouage, and it's called Interlude Man. So I don't actually have a full bottle of this, and I'll explain why I don't have a full bottle of this. I don't think I'm going to purchase a full bottle of this at the moment. So what I do have is this 8ml uh, sample that I got from Scentbird. And, you know, about half of it is done already, so I gave it a few wears. This is known as the Blue Beast in the fragrance community, and... I'll explain exactly why. This is the strongest, most powerfulest fragrance that I have ever experienced in my life. I'll tell you that right now. It's unbelievable. Um, the longevity on this is ridiculous. I'm talking on my skin, I think it didn't come off for about two days. And on my uh, clothes, one week. Like I literally smelled it a week after I sprayed it, like before I was doing laundry. Dude, this is a powerful, powerful fragrance. So, it's very daring. It's very hard to wear. That's why I don't think I'm going to be purchasing it. But it's, it's a very interesting one. Um, people either love it or hate this. But for me, I'm a little 50-50 on this. So, I might have to give it a few more wears. But longevity is ridiculous. The scent trill is unbelievable. I remember when I sprayed it, I left my house to go in my car. And like 30 minutes later, when I came back in my hallway, I smelled it. So it, unbelievable. The scent trail is ridiculous. Like anywhere you go, this is going to leave a huge trail. Everyone's going to smell you. So longevity, scent trail, amazing. So when I spray it, I get this, uh, these peppery accords. I get this strong oregano note. And it's just like, it's very harsh and strong. I don't know if I like the opening. That oregano note really stays present for a long time and it just keeps haunting me. Um, literally, it's like I take a batch of oregano and put it on my nose. That's how this smells like. Um, so you get oregano, you get pepper. You know, I do get the incense, which is kind of nice. I don't pick up on the amber that everybody mentions. But for me, it's just an oregano bomb. A lot of pepper, very spicy, very woody. Um, there's this... There's a weird thing about this fragrance. It kind of smells like wood, like burning, burning wood. But it's not like the, you know, by the fireplace, Mason Margiela, that type of wood burning, like, you know, fireplace, comforting, relaxing wood, you know, like that type of vibe. This, this wood burning, I feel like I'm in a wooden house and there's, the house is burning down and I'm stuck in it. That's, that's the type of burning wood smell that I get. You know, it's not the nice smell that I get from, like, by the fireplace. This one is more of, you know, I'm stuck in a, I'm stuck in, stuck in my house that's made out of wood. And a fire just happened. And, you know, I, I can't escape. And literally, all I smell is burning woods. Like, this literally smells like, like wood burning or cigarettes or something. You just smell like you're burning. I don't know what it is. Like, there, there are woody accords, you know, in the, in this fragrance that's listed, but... I don't know where that burning s smell or feeling comes from, but that's literally how I feel when I wear this. Um, let's see, what else can I say about this one? Other than the burning smell, you know, I think um, one of my co-workers has said that, you know, asked if I just smoked a cigarette when I wore this. I'm like, no, I don't smoke cigarettes, but, you know, that's, I guess, you know, when you spray this on, you, you kind of, people around you will get the vibe that you've been smoking. So it's, uh... So you can already tell that the mass appeal is not there, you know, uh, when I sprayed this, my mom, who's a big supporter of my uh, fragrances, absolutely hates this one. The, I remember the day I sprayed this, she's like, oh my god, what, what was that? Please never spray that again. Um, my coworkers didn't really like this. I've asked people what they think of this, you know, so maybe just on my skin, it's not that good. But the reviews are pretty good on this one, you know. So maybe it's it smells good on other people's skin, but on my skin, it's just... It's just not working for me, you know. I think you need tremendous amount of confidence to wear this one. This is not for everybody. Like, you know, I picture somebody that could pull this off is like a six feet four lumberjack that like chops wood all day. And, you know, he doesn't really, he doesn't care how he smells. You know, he just, he just wants to smell woody, spicy and very masculine. You know, that's, that's the type of person I feel like that would, that could pull this off. You know, uh, yeah, it's, I, I, I don't know, man. You know, maybe in the future I'll get a full bottle, but at the moment, you know, the harsh oregano, wood burning, 
Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it at the moment, but I feel like maybe after a few more wears, I might like it. You know, I feel like you could only pull this off during like cold, cold winter days. I don't see anybody in the summer wearing this. You know, that would just... And I feel like if you go more than one spray or maximum two sprays, you might end up choking somebody. Because literally, I put, I think, four sprays when I first got this. Front of my neck, behind my neck, and like the side of my shoulders. And I'll tell you right now, for two days, I could not get this one off my skin. And any fragrance that I put, you know, a after wearing this, I could not smell that fragrance. All I smelled was this. So literally, this is like, I see why they call this a blue beast, because... Any fragrance near you or any fragrance that you put on, this will literally just destroy it and just take center stage. It's 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 unbelievable. I don't know how Amouage did it, but I feel like they created the, the strongest fragrance or one of the strongest fragrances ever. You know, again, one week on my clothing. Well, you know what? When I smelled my shirt a week later, it did smell pretty nice. You know, I... So I'm guessing the dry down, you know, I, I didn't really pay attention too much to the dry down because it was just, it just lasts, the opening and the mid notes just lasted so long that I never got to the dry down. You know, I really just wanted to get it off my skin as soon as possible. But when I smelled my shirt a week later, it smelled pretty good. You know, it had that nice leathery incense, um, sandalwood type of smell. It's very, you know, that that is something that I can wear. So I feel like I could wear this, but I would have to... I wouldn't go outside my house for like four or five hours. You know, I really have to let let this dry down because, you know, the first five to six hours, it's just, it's just so hard and aggressive that I don't think I could pull this off. So, uh, interlude man, definitely not for me. Um, if you're bold, you have a lot of confidence, and it's super cold and it's winter. I feel like you know you should definitely try this out. Well, you know, try this out regardless. Just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. Um, Again, it's, it's an amouage, it's interesting, it's complex. So this one, woody, spicy, harsh, oregano, wood burning, you know, and then the dry down, incense, leatherish type dry down. No amber, I don't really smell the amber, unfortunately. But other than that, not for me, might work for you. So I won't be buying a full bottle soon. So that's just my opinion on this one. Um, once again, it's Interlude Man by Amouage. So give this one a shot, see how you like it, see how it works with you, but... Beast mode of a fragrance. Again, one week of longevity on the shirt, like two to three days on my skin. The Blue Beast, Interlude Man, I'm Waj. Alright guys, thank you so much for uh, checking out this review. I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.